why people feel the way that they feel about you and do you have to ask yourself what did I do wrong well I know sometimes it's hard for us to love our enemies because of what they've done to us and why we got to do this and that I understand but when we love God God can help us with it and y'all just tune in why we have to love our enemies because y'all so important for us to make a difference and change the way how we look at our enemies y'all because they can be a big stepping stool for us in life tune into this Y'all, let's get into this because there is times where we feel as if everybody's just up against us. Not everybody, but it seems as if you pour into so many people and it seems as if everybody thinks you are wrong and you're not doing enough. And it seems as doing all that I'm doing and still I have people that's persecuting me. I have people that's misusing me in the wrong way and you seem as if people drag your name in the wrong way. But I'm here to tell you, you are who God says you are. People are going to talk about you until the day that you die. And I understand and life itself will try to pull you down as if you are nothing. Oh, but I want to come on here and encourage you in Matthew 5 and 43 through the 44th verse tells us, Ye have heard that it have been said, Thy shall love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. We heard that. Oh, we should love our neighbor and you should hate our enemies. Meaning, you should have no parts of enemy. But Jesus had told them, But I say unto you, love your enemy. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Come on, somebody. I understand that in time, it's like, Lord, I don't even know if I can love them. I don't even know if I can give them a good hand. I don't even know if I can even pray for them. But God will give you the strength to pray for them, love them, understand where you need to be at. Okay. There was times where people made a thought who you were, that you were the enemy. And you was nothing as the enemy. But... Let us remind ourselves we wasn't who we were today, right? God had to take us through seasons to get us where we are today. There was time where we may have fallen short. We may have said some things and we had to ask people to forgive us. And people would still say, that's my enemy because of what they've done. But as long as you do your part and you have forgiven and asked this person to forgive you. Oh, because you are trying to make things right and they still feel some way. Come on, people always going to be saying, oh, they is the enemy because of what they've done. But you made it right with them. You make it right with God. And you are striving to do better. As long as we're not trying to make the same mistakes over and over. I'm trying to move forward from who I used to be. But when you have enemies. Come on somebody. We got to pray for them. Because they may not understand. What they may have done to you. There's people that might have said something. And they may have thought. I did that out of love. I did that not to hurt you. I thought I did it in a good way. And you'd be like, no, it wasn't a good way to me. You know what I'm saying? But we have to pray, Jesus. So, hallelujah. We have to pray and say, Lord, help them. Because they don't know what they're saying. They don't even know what they're doing. But, Lord, I ask you to cover them, be with them. Lord, give me the strength to handle them. Oh, Lord, pray for my enemies, Lord. Bless them, Lord, whatever they need. Bless them. Because, Lord, help their minds. Help them thought. Lord, give them strength that they can make it to where they need to. Because somewhere they may be dealing with something. But, Lord, I pray they seek you, whatever they may need. Because they may not understand they have hurt me. All right, because when the opportunity come, 
they may come back to you and say, please forgive me if I say something. There may be an opportunity that God may place on your heart to say, I know it's been rocky between us, but there was something you said to me that had hurt me. You know what I'm saying? And we just got to get right. You are the blessing. All right? And you are showing the love to show that. Oh, we once with enemy, we going to get this together. All right? But we got to love them beyond what they did to us. Can you love someone even when they are your enemies? Can you even be friend of Jesus? We got to think about that thing. Because God said, love our neighbor, love your enemy. That's Jesus. Hallelujah. We got to really, hallelujah. We really got to think about that. And we really got to pray about it. Ask God to give us the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, how to deal with the people that hurt us, the people that you misuse us, persecute us, lie on us, do the things that they feel as if I have done nothing wrong, but in their mind, they may have think they did nothing wrong. Because if they still don't have that relationship with God, they're going to see there's no wrong. All right. If their relationship is not in alignment with God, come on, somebody, they going to still be thinking, I did nothing wrong to you. What you mean? All right. They still will block what God is trying to show them who they truly are. But all you can do is continue to pray and say, Lord, pray for my enemies. But Lord, pray for me too so I can handle them. That they don't get to me. That I can still continue to go forward and not dwell on what they've done to me. What they're saying about me. What people may look at me to be. Because... There's people that may talk about you and be like, well, I don't understand what people may be saying about me. But at the end of the day, this is what you say. It's what God say about me. God has the last say about who I am. So whatever you heard about me, if God didn't tell you that and I didn't talk to you, then you got some misinformation. You need to talk to God about it. All right, because God created me. God is who made me. Yes, we are not perfect, but God knows who I am. God knows what I've done, and God knows my story. But we don't have to love our enemies even when they do us wrong. I need y'all to write in those comments, y'all. Let me know. Can you love your enemies even when they do them wrong? It's time for us to pray for those enemies, all right? It's time for us to be the bigger person, all right? And knowing that God going to step in and do what he got to do for us. God going to show up on our behalf, all right? He going to do it for us. God, do it for me. That's what you got to say. Y'all write in the comments. Y'all post, all right? If you are on the podcast, write on there and say, God going to do it for me. God going to show up for me. However God do it. Right? He going to help you to love your enemies. He going to help you to pray for them, all right? Because we are bigger than that. Hallelujah, 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 y'all. This is... A season where God strengthened us to say, if I could love my enemies, Jesus, I can get through anything in life. All right, Jesus. So, y'all, I pray that this episode has truly blessed you. All right. And y'all, y'all go back to that scripture that I have given you. All right. It's Matthew, the fifth chapter, the 43rd through the 44th verse. And that's the King James Version. So, y'all can go back and read it because y'all we got to love our enemies regardless of what they say we so used to hearing to love our neighbors and hate our enemies but jesus told us that we need to love our enemies because if you love your neighbor your neighbor may just be your enemy come on somebody jesus hallelujah but y'all we got to get out of here let us pray heavenly father we come to you humble as we know how lord ask you forgive us all our sins we said and done that was not like you lord lord i ask you to continue to give us strength with strength 
strength that's needed, Lord. Lord, we just love you and praise you, Lord. Lord, help us on our spiritual journey, Lord. Help us that we may love neighbor as ourselves. Help us to love our enemies, Lord. Lord, help us throughout our daily life. Lord, we just love you and praise you. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Y'all, I pray that y'all all have a wonderful and blessed day or night whenever you may listen to this. And y'all, I also want to let you know, if you do not know, that my mini course for building a relationship with God, it is open to you now. It is free. It's three days. So if you go access it now, as soon as you open it, the first day shall open. And then the next day will open at the same time that you had access it today. So whatever time you access it, it will open at the same time the next day. So it's three days, y'all. And it's a mini course. And it is free, y'all. So y'all have a wonderful and blessed day, y'all. And y'all, write below and say, God, I'm ready to love my enemy as myself. But Lord, I need your help. Lord, I need your help. And share your testimony. All right. And y'all can also keep in connection. Join me on Instagram. Join me on my Facebook. Most of all on my YouTube because I do go on live streams. So may you all be blessed and blessings to you.